Hey guys, hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'll be giving you guys a tour around another aquascaping shop. If you guys haven't recognised where we are yet, we're at Aquarium Gardens in Huntington. This shop is really amazing, it has everything a planted tank keeper would ever need. It's also a really good shop for people who are just starting to get off into keeping plants. You can see as I was panning around the shop, you can see all the amazing aquascapes. Those scapes will give you so much inspiration, you would just want to keep setting up more and more planted tanks. Also, the staff are super helpful, they'll give you such good advice on keeping plants or just aquascaping in general. Dave, the owner of Aquarium Gardens, picks out some great pieces of hardscape for me. He also helped me arrange them into a similar layout to one of the aquascapes I have on show here. So I just want to quickly say a big thank you to him for helping me out when I visited the shop. So now I think it's time to give you guys a little tour around this amazing aquascaping shop. This is what you're going to see when you first enter the shop. Straight away you're greeted to a wide range of aquascaping products. You can see they've got a wide range of fertilizers like Tropica and Seachem and many more. Then on the floor you've got some classic aquascaping substrate like ADA and Tropica. Now we're going to be moving on to some of the amazing aquascapes set up at Aquarium Gardens. There's so many different styles of aquascapes set up here. This gallery of aquascapes will give you so much inspiration. We'll come back to these aquascapes a little bit later. On this side of the shop we got a range of decorative substrates. They also have these little bits of micro hardscape which are really good for adding a little bit of detail into aquascapes. There's also a bunch of products for shrimp which many aquascapers keep in their planted tanks. This little demo area over here is really good for practicing your hardscape layouts. Since the shop does offer a wide range of hardscape options, using this little demo area will give you a good idea to see what your hardscape will look like in your own aquarium. This area over here is where they keep the in vitro plants. Buying in vitro plants is a really good option as they don't have any pests, snails or algae on them. A few years ago there wasn't much variety in in vitro plants. Now over the years these plants have been made available, the options just growing and growing every year. In this room over here is where they keep most of the plants in hardscape. You can see over here there's another little demo area. I tested my own hardscape out in this area too. Hopefully you guys will be able to see this hardscape I'm planning to use on a future rescape. There's an incredible amount of hardscape choice here. You'll find hardscape that will suit any style of aquascape you want to set up. Here's a massive range of plants available at Aquarium Gardens. I've never seen so many healthy plants available all in one place. You definitely won't be stuck on plant choices here. There's some great beginner plants available here. If you are an experienced plant keeper, there's some more advanced, more difficult species of plants to keep here. Most of the plants kept here are stored in a high humidity cell. This kind of replicates the immersed state these plants are grown in. This makes it a really efficient way to keep a lot of plants, especially if you're selling in a shop like this. And just over here in this aquarium is where all the submerged plants are kept. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, I think all these aquascapes deserve a little bit of time to shine. We're going to start off with this very heavily planted moss setup. This is a very unique kind of setup, I've never seen many aquascapes feature this much moss before. I can imagine it must take a lot of time to clean the moss to make sure it stays nice and healthy. This setup caught my eye because of the foreground plant they're using. I was told it's a cryptocurrency species they're using as a foreground plant in this aquascape. I can't remember the name of this crypt, but it grows really small and low towards its substrate. Hopefully I'll be able to find the name of this crypt. It looks really nice and I would love to keep some. Here's a very natured inspired planted tank. The scape looks super clean and nice. If you saw the scape in person you would see so many little micro details in this aquascape. 
The school of Roman Nails textures really adds to this aquascape too. This looks like a very George Farmer styled aquascape. It's a really mature looking aquascape. You can see the bulb bites in the jar up and trident look really nice too. I also like what I think is Hydrocosta Tripartite that's coming out of the foreground too. I think it helps to break up the foreground a little bit and just add a bit more variety to it. Now we'll move on to this very island inspired aquascape. Again, it's another very clean aquascape with a lot of epiphyte plants too. It must be so difficult to trim the plants in this kind of setup, I'd love to see how they do it. I'm really starting to like these island style layouts, especially ones like this. This is like a little forest or an edge of a jungle kind of aquascape. They planted some moss onto this bonsai wood hardscape to make some little trees. It's a very simple technique but it looks really effective too. You can see how sloping the substrate can help to create a sense of depth in the aquascape. It really works well in this aquascape. You might think the scape looks pretty simple compared to the other ones I showed you, but I really like the hardscape and the placement they did on this aquascape. It's simple but really effective. There's also a lot of Usa Blanche that's been planted on the wood which helps give it more of a mature kind of look. The only thing I would change here is the background, maybe a black one would look really good. I think this is one of the smallest aquascapes I have on show here at Aquarium Gardens. I think it's a 30cm by 30cm cube. It looks really good though, it looks like it's trying to replicate kind of a mangrove kind of look. It's not very densely planted, it's just got a little bit of nubius planted to the wood. But you can see there's some plants growing above the water which helps create that mangrove look. This is a high tech aquascape setup. You can definitely see the ADA inspiration here. This setup uses two islands to help to create a sense of depth within the aquascape. You can really see the benefits of using pressurized CO2 in aquascapes like this. All the plants are looking really healthy and vibrant. I couldn't see much if any algae at all in this setup. Scapes like this are really tempting me to try pressurized CO2 out in an aquascape. Maybe I should give it a go and see what happens. I'll be really impressed with myself if I was able to get an aquascape looking just as good as this. Finally I saved the best scape till last in my opinion. This aquascape was set up by Felipe Olivier, sorry if I pronounced the name wrong. This is a large aquarium at Aquarium Gardens. It holds almost 450 litres of water. This aquarium really is massive, I had to step back just to get the whole thing in shot. It's a 150 by 60 by 55 centimetre aquarium. This whole aquascape is stunning in my opinion. It's given me so much inspiration for rescaping my jungle aquascape aquarium. I just want to show you guys a closer look at what's going on in this aquarium. You can see this beautiful phalanger looking super healthy. It started to grow out of the water and it's even flowering too. I just really like how all the epiphyte plants are growing off the hardscape. The combination of the boost of phalanger, bulbitis, and jarvan all complement each other really well.
You can see that I did some micro detailing here. That little bit of decorative gravel really does contrast well with the substrate. You can see as I'm panning around the aquascape, all the plants look really nice and green and vibrant. There's no algae at all, which is really impressive to see. I think this is the scale that's really tempted me to go to a high-tech setup for my next aquascape. So that's pretty much the tour all done now. So I hope from this little tour video you guys can see why this shop's talked about so much. I'll definitely be coming back to this aquascaping shop to get some more equipment for our rescape I'm going to be doing in the future. Again I just want to say a big thank you to Dave and all the team at Aquarium Gardens for helping me out so much. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this shop tour video. If you did please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel to see more videos. Leave a comment below telling me your favourite aquascape in the shop. I'll be really interested to see what you guys think of all these amazing scapes.